been dropped off in the middle of Namibia with um, <laughs> just a pair of shorts and my bare hands. It's dry, my first priority is water, that's the way I'm going. Ah, look at this. This is um, baboon um, That's a good sign. The baboons can survive out here. So can I. You can see the, the river channel is narrowing ahead. And it looks like it's getting greener. Which could be a good sign. I can see. <laughs> I can see water through the uh, through the gap there. <laughs> it's water. <laughs> it is water. It's massive. <laughs> it's really, really big. Look at that lake. Food. That's what birds mean to me. Food. I'll just see if I can. Literally wedge myself in the uh, in between those two boughs there, and um, what's that near the bank? That looks like okay. There's baboons on the other side of the lake. There's loads. There's about fifteen. I've had close encounters with baboons, and they can be extremely territorial and aggressive. I need to get a fire going to keep them and anything else at bay. Yes, fire! <laughs> fire, fire, fire. Oop, there's my drill. Not on that. Oh, got it. Fire! <laughs> It's getting dark, so along with my fire, I build a boma, a ring of thorny branches around my tree to protect me. I know I'm up in the tree. It's quite warm as well. But importantly, I'm off the ground and um, I'm safe from any predators. I could be eating game, I could be eating duck, I could even be eating bacon. Um, I just need to use this and these to um, to catch them. I've got to be honest, I had a terrible night's sleep up there. Um, and so um, I'm going to build myself a platform. Oh. I can actually lie down. <laughs> oh, that's really good. That is really, really good. Shelter sorted, my focus shifts to my stomach. I've seen no sign of edible plants, so my only option is to catch something. Maybe it's time to start thinking about setting some traps. But I'm so hungry now, I'll eat anything I can find. I've been eating anything, so... Ooh. Had a little wiggle, it scared me. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm, creamy. Scorpion. No grasshopper. Big tooky! Whoa, juicy. Why don't you use these big lumps of driftwood and then pin them down with the stones? And I should make myself those quite big walls in no time at all. An investment, but you know, it's a, hopefully, if it works, we'll keep working again and again and again. That could provide me with a plentiful supply, like a sustainable supply. But that's your news. I know from the sand bushman which seeds the birds here like. I'm baiting two traps to maximize my chances of catching something.
Okay, trap set. The guinea fowl puts his head down into there, eats the seed, dislodges the toggle, the noose tightens, and the whip arm bing, picks up. Morning. It has been sprung. <laughs> I got a bird. <laughs> Not sure exactly what bird this is. But, uh, that's a good amount of protein. Um, if I get some fish today as well, I'll be eating well. There's quite a lot of catfish jumping in the water now. So I'm gonna try my first drive, looping around and trying to push the catfish into the hole. Ha <laughs> ha! Fish for supper! Ah, it's not a catfish. It's not a catfish. Too biggie! A brace. A brace of fish with the bird. Good meal. Happy days. My first few days of hard graft are starting to pay off. This will be my first proper meal in three Jump. days. Jump. Jump. Ready for roasting. Fish first, I think. Always oh, loves bones. Worth it when you've got big chunks of white fish, like that. I'm eating well. I'm eating absolutely so well. I think this mission so far is a success. That's it. Okay, and this is well there. This is a little antelope. Oh, it's disgusting. It's not fresh enough for me to eat, but it looks like other animals have been feeding on it. If there are meat eaters around, I need to know if I'm in serious danger. So I'm leaving one of my cameras running to see if it catches anything. Wow, immediately, what's that? Something eating the carcass. There it is. It's a lynx. See those one, yeah. Haha! <laughs> no way! That's amazing. A lynx isn't isn't a man eater, but it's a predator and Oh wow. We've got warthogs. <laughs> There's warthogs on the carcass. Wow, look at the tusks on that. Wow. You would not want to mess with that. If I actually do manage to catch myself a warthog, I need to be so careful. If I'm lucky enough to trap a warthog and it's still alive, I'm going to need a quick and efficient way to kill it. So I've made this crude looking ax. Yeah. All three posts are still here. All the, um, all the traps are still in place. I was just taking a little rest at the top of this hill, thinking I'm just exhausted, and then a rock moved, and it's moving again. I got a tortoise. <laughs> the thought of it was quite disgusting. I've never drank the blood of a freshly killed animal before, but um, the taste is good, really good. Okay, tortoise, blood, drinking, ticked off the list. Cooking it in its shell will help protect it from the embers and retain as much moisture as possible. I think about three and a half hours, I reckon, so it's nice and slow cooked. 
by late evening, this will be ready. I feel good. I feel strong after that blood, I have to say. I'm just going to scrape sand off the top. The, um, the shell has actually become puncturable, which I wasn't expecting at all. That makes it very easy to break into it. This is, this is tripe, and this is the intestines. Oh, look at that meat there. Oh, it's just... Wow. They're just utterly delicious. This is literally the best thing I've ever tasted. Not a bad end to the trip.